Hi, I'm Arturo from UNI, the Open Observatory of Network Interference. Most people in the world experience some form of internet censorship. This is where access to websites, usage of apps, or, or circumvention tools is in some way being restricted. UNI is about shedding light on these forms of internet censorship. You can do this by installing an app called UniProbe on your phone or on your computer, which checks if and how these websites and these apps are being filtered. All this data is then analyzed and processed and made available publicly as open data so that you can in real time understand how and where internet censorship is happening around the world. And this is the topic of the, of the demo that I would like to show you today. Uh, the platform I would like to show you is called Uni Explorer. And uh, it collects all the network measurements that get run by all Uniprobe users around the world. And in near real time, the data is made available through this online platform. As you can see, we've collected since 2012, when the project started, more than, a, more than 400 million measurements from 239 countries and territories, covering 22,000 different networks. If you scroll down, you can see also the coverage of measurements over time. As you can see, we're covering with 7 million network measurements, around 5,000 networks from around 200 countries every month. Um, if you scroll further down, you can see some um, case studies that were done using data directly from Uni Explorer. So you can get some inspiration of what you can potentially investigate using this sorts of data. Uh, examples include the blocking of independent media during the 2019 constitutional referendum in Cuba, the blocking of Wikipedia and social media in Venezuela during the 2019 presidential crisis, and many more. Uh, we have, for each country uh, where we have collected measurements for, um, with Uniprobe, there is a country page. So you can search uh, by country. Let's pull up, for example, Italy. And you can get an idea for how many measurements have been collected over time from that specific network, as well as information about uh, which websites are blocked, uh, with uh, the coverage of uh, the various apps that we measure, et cetera. But the most interesting part of the Uni Explorer platform is most likely the search interface. This allows you to navigate and inspect through all the hundreds of millions of network measurements that have been collected with Uniprobe. So by going to search, you can filter by country. So you can choose from the drop-down menu which country you're interested in investigating censorship for, um, let's say Russia. Uh, you can filter by uh, network name, by ASN, which is basically an identifier of the specific network on which measurements were, were run. You can choose the time interval for the returned measurements, which defaults to a month. And you can choose the test that was run. Um, we have tests that investigate the blocking of websites. This test is called Web Connectivity. We have a series of tests for instant messaging apps, namely Facebook Messenger, Signal, Telegram, and WhatsApp. We have tests that check for deep packet inspection devices on networks called middle boxes. We have also speed and performance tests that tell you how fast a network is. Uh, as well as circumvention tool tests, which investigate if Siphon, Rise Up VPN, or Tor are being filtered. Then uh, you can also filter by domain. So you're, if you're interested in knowing um, if a particular website is being, um, how it's accessible from a particular region or even globally, you can filter by domain name. Uh, so we can put, for example, here, facebook.com. And then you can filter by status. This means um, all results, independently from what was the, um, the outcome of the experiment. Or you can filter by anomalous measurements. These are, are measurements that are a likely indication of some form of filtering happening on that particular network. Uh, another class of measurements are confirmed measurements. These are measurements in which uh, we were able to confirm the blocking because we saw a block page. And I'll show you later what this looks like. So if we take, uh, let's say, Facebook.com in Russia, we'll see all the measurements that were collected uh, for Facebook.com in Russia. And we can uh, pull one of them up uh, so you can see what a measurement looks like. Uh, in this case, we can see that 
uh, facebook.com slash granny room was measured on May 9th at 11.45 AM UTC on this network, AS12389. Uh, if you input this into Google, you can find what this maps to um, the actual name of the ISP or of the provider. And this experiment is a web connectivity test. So what this experiment does is it does three different things. It does first a DNS experiment. So it does a DNS query, which is responsible for converting a domain name, in this case, www.facebook.com, into an IP address. And we do this both on the vantage point of the user and on a control vantage point. And we compare if they are correct, if they cons are consistent. Uh, in this case, we can see that the DNS experiment is OK. So nothing wrong there. Then for the IP address that was returned in the DNS query, we try to do a TCP connection to it. So we try to connect to it and see if we are able to connect to it. And in this case, the connection was successful. We then proceed to doing an HTTP request to the, that per, the particular URL. And again, we do this from the control and the experiment, and we compare the two to see if they are consistent. And in this case, you can see that we're getting back content for facebook.com. So as, as you can see from uh, uh, the green tick and uh, the green page, this is OK. This is a measurement where no censorship is happening. However, if we remove this filter by domain, and we filter by confirmed, we're going to get a bunch of websites that are confirmed to be blocked. So for example, um, let's say this one is confirmed blocked. And you can see that it's confirmed blocked because you're getting a block page. This uh, probably is saying in Russian that access to this website is being filtered. Um, now I would like to show you uh, some other case studies of other forms of manipulation that you might see with the Explorer. A common type of uh, manipulation is DNS tampering. Uh, as we were noticing in February uh, 2021 in Myanmar uh, during uh, following the coup when they started blocking social media. So as you can see, this measurement is flagged as DNS tampering. And this is, uh, is noticeable by the fact that the IP address that is being returned here in the DNS query is the IP address of a block page. You can see that it says, sorry, this URL is not available in Myanmar. We have tried to access the web page, but it has been blocked. And you can confirm this also yourself by directly inputting it into your address bar. And you can see that you will see a block page. Another common form of blocking is TCP IP level blocking. This happens when following the DNS resolution, which is successful, the TCP connection to this IP is being filtered. And you can see that here in this section where it says connection to this IP was being blocked. The last case is HTTP blocking. This is when the DNS query is successful. The TCP connections are also successful. But for some reason, the HTTP request fails. And this oftentimes can be an indication of some more advanced filtering technology, such as deep packet inspection devices. The last thing I would like to show you is an experimental thing that we're working on, which is called the Uni Measurement Aggregation Toolkit, which allows you to plot measurements over time. So in this case, we can pick Burundi and WhatsApp uh, in this time interval, which was uh, during the uh, election period. And we can see that prior to the elections, all measurements were OK. And then we have a spike of anomalous measurements on the day of the election. And then everything returned to more or less normal. Hopefully, these are some tools that you can use in your own work to investigate cases of internet censorship. Uh, feel free to reach out to us. Uh, our, you can find all of our contacts on our website, uni.org. We have a public Slack channel that you're invited to join if you have any questions. So go, go out there and uh, dig into uni data and uh, uncover evidence of internet censorship. <laughs>